Hi, this is Mamba from Zoops to show you some of the new features in the upcoming Zoops 2.5 release. When you look at the admin uh, panel, you will see pretty much the same oxygen theme as before. However, there will be some changes as we will go through. Now, you will see in the front here three new icons, File Manager, Maintenance and System Configuration. We will discuss maintenance and file manager later, so let's focus on system configuration. The system configuration is a consolidated view of all the sections within uh, admin, uh, within the control panel. So what we can do here is we can disable, enable each individual section and we can access the section from here. Now also what you're going to see is, is the new breadcrumb, which was consistent across the whole control panel. So if we disable uh, avatars for example, if we go back to control panel you will see that the avatar disappeared from here, disappeared also from the toolbar and is not anymore in the menus. So let's go back and uh, enable and back to control panel and we see avatars again. So let's go now through the all sections of the e control panel and see what changes do we have over there. In the avatars we have two sections one for custom avatars, one for system avatars. We can add new avatar to uh, the system and within the avatars we can see the preview of available avatars, we can disable them, we can see how many users are actually using those, we can add it and we can delete. The same and we can use right now the breadcrumb to get back to the avatar management. Yeah, the same thing can also be done for custom avatars. Banners. Uh, we've added a um, preview with jQuery where we can see all the available banners and again using Ajax we can preview, we can edit and we can delete. So we have consistent icons used across the whole control panel. Let's go to blocks. Blocks is probably the most exciting new feature because for the first time ever we can actually uh, design the layout of uh, blocks visually. So we can drag the blocks. On the left hand side we have all available blocks which are there. And we can drag and drop them to any location on the screen. Now the nice thing also is that we have the box to save. So as soon as we move over here the information is saved so when we go to the front end and click on refresh then you will see all the blocks already in place. If we remove we can we don't have to remove actually we can just disable and again the information is saved right away so if we go and refresh all the blocks are gone. So this is one, uh, one feature which we probably are the most excited about. The next one is notifications and uh, the new thing over here is that we can select all the comments which we want to delete and then purge at once. Before in the previous versions we had to delete them one by one. File manager. This is an exciting new feature as well. Uh, on the left hand side we have directory of the tree structure of the directories for Zoop installation and then in each directory we can see files which are there. Now for those files which we have editor for, then we can edit directly and uh, then either save or cancel. And we can also set up the permissions for the particular file. We can add directory, we can delete directory, we can create new file and we can upload file from our PC. So the nice thing here is that we don't need FTP anymore, we can do all the file operations from within Zoops. Groups, the new thing is uh, in addition to uh, the icons which we can edit each group is showing us how many users we have in particular group. 
so that's a nice information for us the image manager is going to show us categories we can add categories and we can add images to a particular category we can uh, again with um, jQuery we can view each category and we can see images for each image we can uh, hide the image or display so disable or uh, enable we can view the image using nice jQuery light box and we can edit and delete the image next one is mail users and uh, we focus on usability now we can with help of calendar we can just enter the date automatically before we had to type everything over there next feature is maintenance that's the new feature and uh, the nice thing is that we can cle clear cache uh, directly just by selecting we can clear also the session table and then we can um, have uh, maintenance operations on the table so we can select some of the tables and then define which operation you want to use and then just send it and voila it's done great feature great helping uh, feature for us. Uh, the preferences we have new icon, new icons. Uh, the new one is setting module system, and uh, we can see over here that we can define if we want to see helpline uh, help online yes or no. We can again define active sections here, disable them if we don't want to see them, and uh, number of avatars to display on. Uh, per page and different settings over here as well as we can select centrally uh, what editors do we want to use for blogs for comments and for all modules so let's go now to the next one which is smileys and again with uh, jQuery we can now disable smileys we can edit and delete them and then all the smileys are new ones so hopefully you will enjoy them Templates, another great new addition. We have again the tree structure of all the templates we have, and then we can edit each individual template. Once we're done with the editing, save it or cancel. User ranks, again with jQuery, we can disable or enable, and we can edit and delete and the last but not least is the user uh, we don't have find user anymore because we incorporated this as advanced search so right now for the user we can just search very quickly within the groups and active or inactive and if we want to have advanced user then we can go and uh, search as before with a find user on particular user we can synchronize we can view the information we can see the avatar of the particular user we can send them email PM or go to the website and of course we can delete that so this is the quick overview of the new features in Zoops 2.5 we hope you will enjoy them we hope that you will find them as uh, uh, something that will improve usability and make your Zoops more user-friendly Thank you and uh, enjoy it.